You find a great job in a town you love, but you can't afford to live there. That is the reality in our ski areas where most of the people who do the work commute from somewhere else. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez went to Winter Park and says that town is taking big steps to find a fix. The majority of our people were left out in the cold. Winter Park's hot housing market gives many local workers the chills. I was living in my mom's condo and they um, actually were at a point where they had to sell it. Deanne Bugis thought she might have to move and start commuting because of high rents. 80% of the workforce in this town commutes up to two hours a day. We had a lot of turnover in our workforce every year. Housing coordinator John Crone says that constant turnover hurts the community. You don't know your neighbor walking down the street. With a slice of a ribbon, Winter Park took a big step today to turn that around, unveiling a $12 million investment in workforce housing. And this is our brand new kitchen, brand new appliances. Um, and then we have a stackable washer and dryer. Bugus got one of the apartments. She says she cried at first. Now she's as happy as the jolly old man himself. <laughs> Living and working in a community creates that sense of community. Mayor Jimmy Larman says it's all about stronger ties. We're starting to just foster that sense of, hey, this is really my home. This is where I want to live. This is where I want to play. This is where I want to work. And this is where I want to raise my family. In order to qualify for one of these subsidized departments, you must be a member of the Winter Park workforce and have a job that's crucial to residents. Teachers, first responders, even ski lift operators are examples. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Great idea. Thank you, Lance. And next May, Winter Park will break ground on a second apartment complex. This is for another 100 residents. They say having people live in Winter Park instead of commuting will add to the tax base and help strengthen local businesses.